middle of a street. Ah, oh, I'm going through a red light. Here we go. Went through the red light. You guys, this is a bonus video. This video is going to go up Friday morning probably. Um, that's when I'll schedule it. So I am going to my second shift today at work. It's actually Wednesday, but it feels like a Thursday to me because it technically is my Thursday, although it is Wednesday the day. Anyway, um, this is my last shift at nighttime for a very, very long time. Thank God. So I did three weeks of this, two weeks of um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday working a double shift. And then one week, I think, I think the first week I only did two nights. I don't know. I can't remember. I feel like literally the whole month of August is a whole fucking blur to me. The whole month. I feel like it just started. Where did it go? I don't know. It's fall. It's fall. It's basically fall. So all of the kids here in this city uh, tonight have like parent teacher open house type situation or whatever. And I don't know, you guys, it was so funny today. All the kids were, you know, a little nervous about going to the schools tonight, meeting the teachers. They were all kind of like, you know, we don't really know what to expect. Um, kids that are going to, uh, like before school care, we're like, well, we don't know where to go. How are we going to know, you know, where our classroom is and stuff. And they get all nervous and everything, you know. And I remember those days when my kids, you know, were really nervous and stuff. And they had all the questions and all the lands. And, you know, I can remember back in the day when I was nervous going to school and not knowing, you know, what teacher I was going to have, locker combination. I remember I, in like high school, I used to have nightmares about going to school and not being able to open my locker. Isn't that so weird? But just like the little things that we worry about, but that would be just like us, like starting a new job. You know, you just don't know what to expect on the first day. Um, so any of you guys, you know, starting college or I don't know if I have any high schoolers watching, um, you guys just try not to worry, try not to stress, go with the flow, you know, be nice to everyone. Don't be the mean girl. Like Miss Judy is the mean girl. No, I'm just kidding. But don't be the mean girl. Let's see if there are any deer out today. It is almost 4 p.m. I see no deer. But on my way home, I always see deer. And there's a baby deer, you guys, over here. And it's got no mama. I've never seen the mama. I've only seen the baby deer out. So I don't know what's going on there. But today I purchased 10 pounds of meat from a cow. I mean, not like the grocery store. Like, you don't know what you're getting there. I'm actually getting a cow. Like, 10 pounds of a cow. So I'm kind of excited about that, you know, and Judy said that she's bought from this vendor before and she said that it's like super high quality and you can definitely tell the difference. So doing that today, what else is happening today? Um, I packed my lunch slash one meal a day, not really my lunch, my dinner, because I eat it at 5 p.m. And I, I did something different. So I made the bread, the cottage cheese egg bread. Basically it's one egg, half a cup of cottage cheese, any seasonings of your choice, blend that motherfucker together, bake it at 350 on a cookie sheet, half cookie sheet for uh, 30 to 35 minutes. And you've got a flat, a, a beautiful tasting, high protein flatbread. I have the recipe on my channel. Go search for it. It's super easy, super simple to do. Anyway, so I did something different. I've been watching TikTok and you know how like all the doctors were like, oh, only eat two eggs a week because your cholesterol, blah, blah, blah. Or, oh, only eat the egg whites because the yolk is the worst thing for you. You know what I say to those doctors? Fuck y'all. Fuck them. 
So it is a proven fact that the egg has every single vitamin that the body needs with the exception of vitamin C. Did you guys know that? The egg has, I will repeat it because it is so important. The egg has every single vitamin in it that your body needs to survive except for vitamin C. Eat eggs. There is a girl that I know that eats six eggs a day. She is lean, she is mean, she is a fighting machine. So anyway, what did I do in my little dash, my hard boiled egg little dash maker, I made some hard boiled eggs. I took two hard boiled eggs after I made the flatbread. I took some mustard and some seasoning and the hard boiled eggs. I mashed it all together mash, 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 and I used it as a spread on my flatbread. So I spread the spread out, and then I took some uh, purple onion and I sliced that up, put that on the bread, and or like on top of the like egg type mixture. And then I took some roast beef, added protein, and I laid that down. I folded it in half, I then cut it in half, and that is going to be my main course. Then I took some high protein Greek yogurt, a scoop of strawberry, or no, I'm sorry, a scoop of blueberry protein powder, two tablespoons of chia seeds, and some almond milk, and I mix that up, and I'm going to have that pudding for dessert, and that's going to be my meal for today, and I'm so excited about it. Um, and it's, so it's high protein, beautiful ingredients, whole foods. The only thing that I'm a little iffy on, and I'm starting to like open my eyes a little bit more to like the whole food family is the protein powder. Because I mean, let's be honest, protein powder is not probably the best for you. Yes. It's got protein in it. Probably not the best probably different options out there besides protein powder like maybe instead of protein powder have like ground beef I don't know I don't know so I'm you know still doing my research on the protein powder I did get that those rise protein powders which are horrible for you but spent a lot of money on them so I kind of want to finish them so I've got the blueberry the peanut butter and the strawberry of those They're absolutely freaking delicious but like I said, they're not the best option. So we're gonna finish those up. We're gonna make better choices. We're gonna we're gonna do better, you know. Um, but yeah, so everyone is talking about you know pumpkin spice this, pumpkin spice latte. Starbucks got the pumpkin. Everyone's coming out with their pumpkin recipes. I'm probably gonna do. I'm probably next time I go to Costco, I'm gonna get um, the canned pumpkin. Not the pumpkin with everything in it, like the spices and all that stuff, but I'm talking about like real pumpkin in a can. And I'm gonna start making like my pumpkin pudding with the chia seeds and the Greek yogurt. That's gonna be amazing. But you know what I've noticed? Like during fall season, I feel like everyone is so focused on the pumpkin spice. We've kind of forgotten about the apple. You know, everyone talks about a good pumpkin, but nobody talks about a good apple anymore. So I think this fall season, I'm going to try to get recipes with apples in it instead of pumpkin. That's going to be my goal for this season, this fall season. Okay, you guys, I'm at work. I've got my water. I have my Vera Bradley little lunch sack. It's purple. And I also have my purse. We're sporting lots of flowers today. So anyway, you guys, I have to go inside. I'll see you guys all later. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.